So it's a little south here. Why are you naked? Put some clothes on. I, I wish I had a gun that made people put on clothes. It's too hot out here. I don't care. Put clothes on. Clothes gun. Ho. There. Good. That's better. Well, that's that. Is it this? Yes. Did they build it inside? I mean, this is neat, but I don't really know how that's much of a building unless it has stairs that go downwards. That must be a secret bunker. Yep. Oh, see, it does have stairs to go down. Okay, well, now it makes slightly more sense. I'm really impressed you guys managed to dig all this out. Damn, you guys got a security camera? That's fancy. Hi. New guy. All right, hello and welcome to Tully. <coughs> Totally head hunting. Clear your throat before you talk I'm to me. I'm assuming you're here about work. Uh, nope, nope, not here about work. Just poking around. Found this place. Thought it'd be interesting. Thought I might kill everyone inside. Take it as my own. Brilliant. Well, you want to see yourself out? I got no use for random hobos wandering around my place. Well, I suppose since we're here already. All right, fine. We'll do. You know what? I am actually here for work. I was lying before. All right, good. But why should I take you on? What do you bring to the table? Uh, I can punch people? Anyone with hands can do that. What else you got? <laughs> uh, I talk good. Well, you've failed to convince me that you're worth hiring, so your success rate is pretty spotty. He's a sharpshooter. Now we're talking. Look, on the list of top ten skills you need to make it in this business, numbers one through fucking nine are shooting people with guns. Alright, I'll give you a quick overview of how this operation runs. Now listen up, because I hate repeating myself near as much as I hate Cazadors. Now, first off, to keep dumb new recruits from getting wasted on their first job, I keep things organized into three tiers, right? First tier, you got your pussy-ass targets. Card cheats, drug cooks, public masturbators, that sort of shit. That sounds dumb. Second tier, we got guys who might actually make you work for it. Third tier, we got the badass fuckers. And you will be starting with softer targets. Just to save me time and money, and you blood. So, you see a contract you like, you buy it from me. You can only have one open contract at a time. You succeed, I pay you back with interest. That's about it. If you're still confused, check that terminal in the corner of the room. The terminal in the corner of the room. Well, it's probably the one that the person is sitting Hello? at. Move! Move, I'm using this! <laughs> Why am I only permitted to have one contract at a time? I'm a globetrotting badass, and it would be much more expedient if I just had a giant stack of contracts. Some people are greedy and stupid and would snatch up all the contracts in the place and then never actually complete any of them. Bad for business. Why do we need to pay you for a mission, Joe Tully? To disincentivize the aforementioned greedy dumbasses hogging contracts without completing them. Take your target out and you get your investment back. Plus extra. Be a lazy ass and you're just losing your own money. Oh, I wanted a specific contract, but I told somebody I already took it out. Why can't multiple contracts be taken out on a single target? My contractors kill people for money. Some of them wouldn't hesitate to kill their competition so they can claim the reward themselves. Then it's feasible if each contract is assigned to a specific contractor. <laughs> Speaking from past experience. I have moral reservations about killing. How do I know that you don't target innocent people? Then you're in the wrong business, fuckface. But actually what he said is... Because it costs money to contract an assassination. No one is going to throw their own money away to have me kill some innocent person for shits and giggles. If you got a price on your head, it means you did something to warrant it. How would I go about bringing a target in alive? You wouldn't. We're not bounty hunters. Unless otherwise specified, you kill your targets. Nothing more. Hey, wait a minute. Do you require proof of death? Okay, you're one, your voice is really annoying. Two, yes and no. I'm not hanging over a single half cap without verification that the target died. But I will have well-placed people who will do the verifying for me. You don't have to do shit except for actually killing the marks. Half cap? You take a hacksaw to a cap and cut it up? I guess, yeah. <gasps> uh, that wasn't a question, uh, but I assume you said how do you know where the targets are. I have sources. Considering the intel these sources send me is with the cornerstone of my business, I wouldn't say anything more on that front. Okay, great. Uh, so that's not where we get the targets very no, we well. Gotta, we gotta talk to him again. Welcome back. I want a third tier contract. Nope. New guys don't get to start with the veteran work. But he is a veteran. How about a second tier contract? Split the diff. Nope. Complete a few first tier contracts first. Um, okay, what is this one for, uh, just Frank? 
It just says Frank. It doesn't say anything else. It just says Frank. Yeah, nobody gives enough of a shit to document his whole name. He's some drunk-ass, low-rent rapist type. Best just to put him down. So we just go out there killing people named Frank? Additional notes. Nope, just kill him. <laughs> okay! Alright, let's go kill Frank! You are a literal child. What, what are you doing here? I will talk to you later, I guess. How dare you? She's actually a 600-year-old dragon vampire, half-dragon, half-vampire lady! Let's assume that's not the case. I mean, but maybe. Let's not forget about little bits! I did. <laughs> oh man, which one of these guys is hey. Frank? You're gonna have to do some detective work, eh? Are you Frank? Is there anything more beautiful than a oh, yeah. beautiful, this is busty Brahmin riding a caravaneer off into the sunset? Oh wait, I don't think that came out right. Do you have a pretty much right, big old big titty Brahmin? Could be this guy. You got any change, man? I got five kids to feed. <laughs> Hopefully that was him. <laughs> and he had a note on him. Frank, don't you ever contact me again. You're pleasant enough to share a drink with. I heard you what you've been doing in your free time, you sick fucker. I don't actually suggest things like this, but have you ever considered suicide? You should. Jeez, I mean, I've, if he's an awful person, I guess. All right, well, let's turn the bounty in. Hey, we're back. <laughs> this is pretty easy. Welcome back. Frank's dead. I imagine that wasn't any sort of a challenge. Good work. No, it really wasn't. Okay, next contract. Welcome back. Hold on, I got a question for ya. Alright, fine. If you ask him what his opinions are on the- How do you feel things? about the NCR? Bad for business. That's my biggest problem with them. Look at what they did to California. They policed their own shit and penalized vigilanteism. Hard for a business like mine to prosper. It's not all about you. Aside from that, I suppose they're alright. They really are handling the Mojave in the dumbest possible way, though. God damn. It's hard to dispute you on that. They show up in someone's town uninvited. They declare that town is part of them now, and it has to abide by their rules and pay their taxes. And if that town has trouble with bandits or what have you, uh, sorry, we're stretched too thin. No wonder locals fucking hate them. Yep. Still, overall, they're decent folk. Look, they got a giant army with exactly one war crime under their belt. Pretty good track record. Well, what do we know of? You, you think they're better than the Legion, though? Well, it's pretty open and shut, isn't it? Legion is evil, and they need to be destroyed. Oh, okay. I mean, at least they're not like- No way, Joe Tully. The Legion is, like, morally gray, man. <laughs> Their methods may be brutal, but golly gee, they sure made Arizona safer now. People around here are so fucking stupid, they try to tell themselves the Legion isn't all bad because the alternative scares them. Nobody gets their pussies all twisted over fiends or jackals or other gangs so worthless that they don't warrant me remembering their names. But the Legion claims to be the great counter of the NCR, so surely they can't be all bad. Fuck, man. Very derisive tone you have there. Sure, they're a nation of slavers that entertains itself by crucifying POWs and raping anything female they get their hands on, age be damned. How noble they are, committing genocide on tribal cultures that refuse to fold and become the newest batch of slave soldiers. Okay, we get it. You don't, don't like them. The notion that a big-ass nation can be entirely evil scares people so bad, they pretend the Legion must have positive points. Yeah, the Legion's fucking stupid. And yet... The only justification for that bit of genius is, invariably, some fucking bullshit about safe roads. He's talking a lot. I was ripped from my home at the age of five. I watched them rape my mom and burn my dad alive. Then they tortured me and forced me to train. Most people don't have this much to say. They forced me to kill innocent people under the threat of crucifixion. But I don't hold a grudge because fucking safe roads. It's not their fault they're underdeveloped. Fucking retard. People are too goddamn stupid for their own good. I swear to God. I really agree with people are too stupid for their own good. Yeah, so do I. Which is why they need to be kept in line by a government of some kind. Maybe the Legion. No, which is why the government shouldn't exist. Ah, okay. Because people are too fucking stupid to handle it. Pure anarchy, baby. No, just leave me the fuck alone. I want to know how you're confirming kills without proof on my end. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Shut up, nerd. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. You do sell stuff. Oh, look, an M14. Why is... Okay, this is what I'm actually going to talk about. Why is the icon for the Browning High Power Suppressor an optic for a Dragnov? Yeah, Why? Yeah, maybe you put the optic on the end of your... Bra yeah, dual purpose. All right, I want another contract. All right, here's what I got. Also, it's your contract agency, so you can do whatever the hell you want, but really the third tier contracts should be the lowest ones, and then the first tier should be the highest ones. Shut up, nerd. I mean, it's your agency. You do whatever the hell you want. I'll take a contract for Lee, please. You know, it's funny. I have a special fondness for hookers and whores, but pimps? Fuck them. Y you think I'd like them for their role in the sex trade? You know what it is, I think, is gold. Gold? I mean... Gold-plated guns are just the fucking worst. Hey! Nothing screams, <laughs> I'm a pussy! Quite like a golden desert eagle, you know? <laughs> uh, but what if it's a gold tiger stripe desert eagle? Trying to shame me for using this gun I stole from Geesling? And which profession is most liable to use something like that, huh? Yeah, I rest my case. Plus, they also got those giant golden cups, too. Try Not all of them. Just go kill the pimp, okay? Alright. Or talk him out of his current bullshit if you're the sort to place value on all human life, which you shouldn't. Okay, where are we going? Apparently a pimp, uh, out here in the Ivan Park. In the dry, dry lake? Why is he in the dry lake? Oh, scorpions! Brazil, I kinda like to get late after a fight. <sighs> but I suspect you're over. not gonna let me take a detour to the closest whorehouse, huh? Teach you to mess with me. <laughs> are you the pimp? Out here in the middle of nowhere. He doesn't have a gold-plated gun. I mean, he he's dressed like a pimp, but he doesn't have a gold-plated gun. Hello. Hey, my man. Have you seen a pair of dirty hoes running around here? Uh, it's nothing but scorpions, my guy. They ran their asses out of my little pussy ranch, New Rockwell. And Daddy Lee ain't got no idea where the fuck they went. That sounds, sounds familiar. It'd be better for them if they died, of course. Uh, Daddy Lee ain't gon' forgive a bitch making him search a fucking desert in his nice wingtips. And you're looking for these ladies in the middle of a dry lake bed... why? You gotta put yourself in the mindset of a cheap ass hoe, yo. Daddy Lee is connected in California, so these skanks wouldn't dare head for the Mojave outpost. Oh, I haven't heard the word skank in a long time. And Prim is a little shitty town populated by little shitty people. People with ridiculous ideas about ethics and morality. Ain't no Johnnies for bitches in a place like that, is all Daddy Lee is saying. And these bitches know it. Oh yeah. Nah, they thinking Daddy Lee wouldn't bother looking for them in a place like this. And yeah. they also probably thinking of digging for treasure, too. <laughs> You're what? what? Yeah, yeah. The old story about the uh, treasure of Avonpah Lake and shit. For real. All sorts of motherfuckers come out here looking for that shit. Impeccable logic. Like the ones who are gonna find it are gonna be some hookers in heels. That's some ignorant shit, even for dumb hussies with flat asses. Uh, yeah, they're definitely out here looking for treasure, probably. Why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Because it lends more gravitas and authority to the words that come out of Daddy Lee's beautiful mouth, motherfucker. No, it doesn't. It makes you sound like an intolerable asshole. Uh, it sounds like these women don't want to work for you anymore. Daddy Lee gives no consideration to the whining of flat-assed bitches. Especially flat-assed bitches that absconded with Daddy Lee's property. Oh, they stole! That property, of course, being the flat-assed bitches in question. I, I get it. Daddy Lee wouldn't accept his toaster growing legs and walking away neither. <laughs> That's like if you're in the military and you get a really bad sunburn, they can give you an Article 15 for destruction Damaging. of military property. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know what? I don't want to know what you're going to do when you find these women. Goodbye. Right. Daddy Lee has work to do. Sorting out all this hoe tomfoolery. Oh, no. Now we'll never find the treasure. I, there is no treasure, Mike. There isn't any treasure. Maybe the treasure was the pimps we murdered along Dead the way. Son of a bitch. 
Oh, and also scorpions. Everyone okay? No, Lee's injured! We need to get into a hospital! Oh my god! He shot Bill! And, and I shot him. Yeah? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, I didn't really think that was gonna work. I, I thought I had completely missed. Having fun with some explosive sniper rounds. Well, it'd be nice if we could tell these missing prostitutes that they're freed. The, the missing prostitutes are the ones that put out the hit on him. Uh, Daddy Lee and the client was Crystal Chavez and Angel Brown. Oh, they, you were right, they did hire them. We should have read this before we did the contract. Yeah. Lee said he would just manage our services and make no make sure nobody got rough, but he beat us all way worse than any Johns ever did. He done made us all work clients that we didn't. Oh, hang on, I should read this in like prosty voice. He done made us all work clients that we didn't want and said he'd shoot us if we didn't. One time he broke a broom across Susie's back because she asked him for free jet. You should kill him or something. Get him to stop chasing us. Welcome back. Lee has been dealt with. Did he cry like a little scared baby, or did he threaten to slap you when you pulled a piece on him? Probably 50-50 either way. No, he just stood there and talked at me. Fucking pimps or pussies, I tell you. Here's your money. Hooray money! What, who is this Billy Tayback? The job's simple, but it could potentially get real messy if you can't manage a quick, silent takedown. And hopefully you already got passage onto the strip, cause that's where you can find your target. On the bright side, he's not personally dangerous. Have fun. Or don't. I don't care. Billy Tayback! Uh, we don't know who hired him. Don't worry about it. Reason? I hired that fat asshole to entertain in my casino and he fucked my wife between shows. <laughs> I want him and his whole fat goddamn family dead. You should shove his stupid guitar up his ass sideways. His family? I don't, I don't know. First off, we're not- we're only targeting Billy, not his family. Not only will I not pay extra if I hear you sodomize him with a guitar, I'll actually deduct pay from you. Payback is an NCR citizen and he's around the strip, so make the killing quick, clean, and discreet. Otherwise, you'll probably find yourself surrounded by troopers with cattle prods in short order. Ooh, a bit of a challenge now. Do I have anything suppressed? I have- I have a brilliant idea. Who I'm the hell are you? Took out a powder ganger boss the other day. I'm shocked that they're still around. Just how big was that fucking prison? Yeah, right? How big? Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> What's your plan of action if you don't have silenced weapons? I have a secret weapon that I haven't told you about until right this second. All right, we gotta find this guy first, though. Ah, uh, it could be anywhere. This is a big place. Feels like it gets bigger by the day. Th these are new signs. Where did these come from? Oh, those are, Who put these signs up? These have always been here. No, they haven't. Uh, you just haven't been very observant. They've always been here. Wow, they got Zaza Gabor? Damn. I'm gonna have to go to that. I like that sign. That sign makes me happy. Yeah, it's a very nice sign. Turn away from this rotten way of living, or choose to stay blind to the truth, but be ready to face the harrowing consequences. Who is saying that? Come to get fleeced like a bighorner? Maybe not these guys. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, well, that's the target, <laughs> okay? That's, that's Billy. The, Billy is the target. Okay. Hello. The Brain Exploder Cannon! While it may look like a simple detonator for a brick of C4, it will cause someone's brain to suddenly explode. Hang on, hang on. It's gotta, it's gotta, it's gotta start up. Let me, let me get out of the way. Gotta, just gotta... Uh, hey, it worked! His head didn't really explode in the slightest. No, it just gave him a heart attack. This is bullshit! It's supposed to be the Brain Exploder Cannon! Hang on. He just died of cholesterol. Oh, so we didn't have any- Dude, this is bullshit! What a stupid gun! I hate this thing! Babe, was it the gun's fault, or did he just have a poor diet? I got- I got ripped off! I got ripped off! I was told it was the Brain Exploder Cannon. 9,000. He specifically added 9,000 to it, and it didn't explode anyone's brain. Nope. He just died of cholesterol. Yep. He had bad cholesterol. Let this be a lesson to you to go to the doctor and get your cholesterol levels checked. Yes. Okay, that's All right. that. Well, let's uh, go. Peter Maxwell! Oh my god! Let's go! Ah! <laughs> I feel the need to creep it. All right. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. That's why that happened. <laughs> oh, like, why is, why is stuff so fancy now? Man, what the hell? people are putting work in here. All right. Where was all this energy, like, a while ago? It's here now. That's all that matters. 
Hey yo. Welcome back. Tayback is dead. I won't say that I killed him, because I didn't. Oh good. I think there's a lesson here. Don't go around fucking married women. Also, yep. it's probably inadvisable to be a fat ass. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yep. Also, yes. That fits very also, well. Also, yes. Yep. <laughs> Are you aware that your missing employees put out a contract on your life? I am a hired hitman. Hired by them. They did what now? Deadly is outraged and appalled at the disloyalty of these bitches. After all Dad and Lee has done for them, he gave them food and shelter and love and beatings for free. As if performing fellatio for cash and disobeying Daddy Lee weren't enough, they go and try to kill the greatest man they'll ever know. Yeah, it's a real shame, huh? I don't think you know who you're talking to, Daddy Lee. They aren't your hoes anymore. Daddy Lee was laboring under the delusion that you were a member of the general public at large. You were largely mistaken. Daddy Lee failed to recognize a fellow pimp at first sight, and for that, Daddy Lee apologizes most profusely. You better believe it, I got my own ranch. In regards to the bitches in question. It's called Novak. Daddy Lee reluctantly recognizes that by pimp law, the <laughs> hoes now belong unequivocally to you. 